Is a round face finally coming to the Apple Watch 9 in 2023? Well, a report has come in telling us if this is going to be the case or not. I also want to give you all the details about this and also all the details about the Apple Watch 9 release date and price with specs too. Anyway, as six months have gone by since the launch of the Apple Watch 8, SE2 and also the Apple Watch Ultra, it is time to, excuse the pun, to start talking about the Apple Watch Series 9. So for everyone who watches my videos or even if you are new here, in these videos I'm going to give you the latest details or specific leaks and reports, then details of the planned release date and time, then a summary of the models, what are going to be released with all their features that we've learnt in previous leaks. After this I'm going to reveal my wish list for the next Apple Watch. Also put in the comments below of what features you would like to see in the next Apple Watch 2 as I would love to see them. So let's talk about where we are right now. With the Series 8, it was a bit of a mild update over the Series 7 in design and just two new capabilities of thermometer that can be used for women's monthly cycles, tracking and also car crash detection. For the Watch 9, changes that we want might be finally happening. So a new report has come in and to be fair, it's not really talking too much about the 9th generation or the Apple Watch Series 9. It looks like Apple are actually putting all of their efforts into the Series 10 or the Series X to celebrate the anniversary of the Apple Watch that originally came out in 2014. So this is the celebration in 2024. Why this is so important as it looks like that the Apple Watch 9 could be put back on the shelf for any major updates. So I'm talking about a new design or extra new features to come in 2023. The other possibility is that the Apple Watch Series 9 might not even come out in 2023 and Apple may surprise us in 2024 in the early part of the year to show us the anniversary edition of the Series 10 and completely skip out the Series 9 altogether. Remember Apple have done this in the past and that's why we never actually got an iPhone 9. As I've said already, we still do have around about six months until the time when Apple normally do their Apple Watch refresh in September time. So we could still see more updates indicating that Apple are going to be bringing out a series Watch 9 later on this year. Also, if you wanted to know more about the Apple Watch Ultra 2, then do check out my other videos about this watch on my channel as I've talked about this a little bit more further. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new Apple Watch 9. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video still, then you're curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next Apple Watch anyway. So moving on, let's talk about the release date. So for the release date, it looks like the plans for the Apple Watch 9 might be a bit different this year. In past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone with two devices available for purchase around the same time. Again, this happened with the iPhone 14 where we had an event for this mainly solely around this device but we also got the brand new Apple Watch Series 8, the SE2 and also that brand new Apple Watch Ultra. But for the Series 9 release date, well as mentioned before, if we do get a Series 9 in 2023, we're looking towards the iPhone 15's announcement as inspiration, as most links have dropped out when the iPhone 15 will be available. Apple tend to do an event for the iPhone 15 on the nearest Tuesday to the middle of the September month. So right now in September, the middle kind of Tuesday is September the 12th. However, Apple sometimes also do their events a week before or a week after after this date, so it's possible that we could actually see the event on September the 5th or even September 19th too. After this, Apple normally actually launch the product into our hands around about 7 to 10 days later. So based on this time, we're expecting for the Apple Watch Series 9 to have a very similar release date if it comes in 2023. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is going to be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm going to be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm going to be giving away some 
AirPods 3 as well. What's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize that I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically, these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, Example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping please do report it here on YouTube all you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there so to summarize again all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes and with that guys it's back to the video so with the latest leaks and release out of the way let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted the picture for for more details of the apple watch series 9. so again for the apple watch series 9 for the design wise the actual screen sizes this time round will be the same as last time so we're talking about a 41 and a 45 millimeter screen and also this will be again an ltpo oled screen that we've had in previous generations of the apple watch so this brightness on this display will go up to a thousand nits brightness what is really really good on bright sunny days we will also still get 32 gigabytes of storage built inside to both of these apple watches depending if you pick on the 41 or 45 millimeter display and we also will be getting the brand new s9 chipset inside it so this will be the latest generation of it and we could also be seeing the brand new u2 ultra wideband chipset also put inside the apple watch so this just helps that if we do lose your Apple Watch or misplace it somewhere, you'll be able to find it in the Find Me app and also that the watch might be able to make a little bit of a sound to help you find it. Also, there'll be Bluetooth 5.3 inside it. And if you pick the cellular option, you'll also get 4G connectivity built right inside to the Apple Watch. We also have heard rumors that we could be getting a glucose monitoring sensor. So more news will be coming out about this and this will be to monitor your glucose levels in you. So this will be really, really handy if Apple do introduce this feature and also the actual watches they'll be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here in the UK stainless steel and also a titanium body we've also heard that there's a possibility that touch ID is coming to the standby button on the side of the Apple watch and this button will be very similar to what we have like on say for example the 10th generation iPad and also the iPad Air and also the iPad mini 2 so Apple could adapt this quite easily for battery life, we're expecting an all-day battery life again, up to 36 hours if you use that low power mode that was introduced in 2022. And also at the same time, you will be able to still charge it up by using that sort of MagSafe charger with a USB-C charging port end. For prices wise though, prices will likely stick to the way they've been already. So for the 41 millimeter, 32 gigabyte option, just the standard one Bluetooth version, it will cost you 399 US dollars. But if you went for the cellular version, it will cost you 499 US dollars. But then if you went for the bigger face, the slightly bigger model, it would again, it'd be the 32 gigabyte option costing you 429 US dollars. And then again, if you pick that cellular version of the 4G connectivity, it will be 529 US us dollars so there we have it folks that is a summary of the new apple watch line however for my thoughts and wishes 
Well, my wish is actually to do with selfie camera in the Apple Watch or even a small 720p sort of camera inside it. The reason why I think you should have this is because at the end of the day, you can take Apple Watch out and about and you can actually take phone calls on it. And you do have to sort of lift your arm up to your face, as it were, to talk into it. So to me, it makes sense to put actually a sort of selfie camera inside the watch too. Or even if you're sitting or lying down at the moment, for example, with an iPhone and you don't really have to hold it in your hands. So, you know, you can just basically lift up your arm to it and you can just see the camera inside. Maybe Apple in a way could sort of angle the camera slightly so you wouldn't have to completely tilt your wrist round. But anyway, those are my thoughts and let me know if you agree with this as well if you'd like to see a feature like this. And plus, I'd love to know what you'd love to see in the new Series 9. So make sure you put them down in the comments. And on that night, guys, it's time to also wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure you click the like button. And at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you hit the subscribe button and followed by that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.